Dune. The, the new Kanye Dune West album. The new Kunde Wind Dong. Dune, baby. This is the most. That's the fucking cleanest introduction we've ever had for a film. Well, now it's not clean. You cussed. I swore. It's you a sword. It's a sword. <laughs> I sword swore. It. Let's talk about Dune. Dune, 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 Dune. How am I gonna give this spoiler-free review? I can do it. Uh, really? Yes. Do you remember the names? No. Okay. You can just See, reference the actors. Uh, oh, well, so there's a planet, mm. and it has this thing called spice. No. I we, can't. You I can't have to know some of the names, man. We can't just give a. Uh, okay, I remember House of okay. Trades. Yeah. Nice. There's I remember. Okay, just look up. We'll look up Cat Jackson. You don't have an A button on your computer. I I know. It's I Cast I try to ring a replacement. Rick. Just a replacement A. Or? I don't think casting characters will. Uh, We'll tell you. Okay, so it there's House of Trades, right the planet. Yeah, but what's the, the planet? planet Arrakis. Arrakis, that's what it's called. Dana knows. So, okay. The book. There's a planet Arrakis. <laughs> it was under control of these bad people because they're farming this thing called, called Spice. The, um, trans Transformers. I think it started with a K. I thought it was with T. I don't know, but Dave Bautista was part of this. Dave Bautista. Uh, um, I bet if we went to like the. Hey, I'm just despite gonna, that. No, there's this thing called no. spice. I think we should read a review because I don't think we're gonna give it a yeah. Like we should read a synopsis. Yeah. Because I couldn't tell you everything that happens in this film just because of how confusing the names were. From what I've seen it, it, of it, people we, who like are reading the book now, because there's a lot of people obviously who are like, oh, I'm gonna go read the book. It's apparently like you learn a new language as you read it. Like there's a dictionary attached to the back of the book of all the words. They said that about the Hobbit, and I don't, I don't speak like halfling or whatever afterwards they're like oh. well no no no. i'm just saying like it's like no i understand. it's so difficult to get through that i'm not surprised the movie is we're, we're having difficulty remembering the names of uh, it's just because you don't need to remember we them. need to know the names of the two groups we don't planet. need to remember them because this movie was literally just setting up part two that is fair i got zendaya baited you yeah. got zen baited we got zen baited in this movie yeah. I think we should talk about that to the audience who hasn't seen this movie yet. Oh, yeah. Spoiler-free review. Spoiler-free review. We're not getting into spoilers yet. Zendaya is in this movie. I'm not even kidding. Four minutes. Maybe four minutes. Yeah. Maybe. They really I'm not like, gonna tell show you her in the trailers. How, but she's going to be a big part in the second one. If probably. there's a second one. That's the worst part. They don't even have this confirmed yet. And I Wait, feel so really? bad for the director and the cast and the crew. Because this yeah. movie does so much legwork. Mm -hmm. for but future movies if yeah they, if they do i a think sequel, the second movie if they do would be sequel, awesome this is going to be such a massive like cinematic experience of both yeah. of these movies linking together speaking of did you watch it in theaters no so none of us ended up watching i it wanted theaters. to watch it in theaters I so didn't. bad i didn't i do say though i i i, I never you really, do declare i do declare i never believe things like this i'm never like a guy gotta see something in, in theaters you have to see this in theaters it makes sense it felt almost comical watching all these huge theatrical things happen on a like on our small 46 TV. inch tv you know not a small tv i will say it just though, wasn't a this movie is theater. one of the most beautiful movies i've ever seen just it was it's very just so fluid in everything the setting was very nice for it literally just being a wasteland the setting was very nice but it got boring i think no, you didn't like this movie that much. I wasn't a huge fan of the movie. All right. I thought that the all the desert scenes, obviously it was a desert. <laughs> so yeah. it was going to be a little bit boring. Yeah. But I don't know. I was just, I, I feel like we were almost too many shots of the desert. I was like, I get it. Man, it's how many, what, what do you want? It's a desert movie. It's called Dude. No, I just have a lot of complaints about this movie. I, I think Timothy Chalamet's character was the best character of the movie. I know Dana disagrees with that. Dana thought Timothy Chalamet's acting was no, terrible. I didn't, I didn't like him I didn't in this say, movie. I I'm didn't sorry. say Timothy Chalamet can't act. I said, said his was, acting in particular in this movie. I'm like, why am I not liking his character at all? He just doesn't seem like... Like, I know there's clear indicators. You're like, this is the scene where you're like, this is... Are you this is I think he seems like the fit for the role. If you look at Timothy Chalamet, you look at that guy and you go, yeah, it's he's probably like, the chosen one. Okay, I mean, look at the guy. Look at that jawline. No, I get yeah, the jawline, but, but I'm saying like, if he's you have, the chosen one. you look at his two parents, I don't okay. see how they made yeah. it. Yeah, no, no that's look fair. At his parents, that's like, very fair. And then Both you see he's best friends with Jason Momoa and you're like, this guy's a twig compared to literally everyone around his him. Dad Why is he the chosen one? The yeah. issue that the movie had was that there were way too many famous people because I think that's why Timothy Chalamet felt weird is we also saw Zendaya 
Jason Momoa, Oscar Isaac, Dave Batista, Josh Brolin. Like there were so oh, we many. We saw the Skarsgård too. There was, yeah, there were so many different characters in Dude, this movie. What was his name again? The the fat guy. The what Baron. Vladimir. The Baron? the Baron was terrifying. Terrifying. Oh yeah. Yeah. He had okay. like little hover discs in his spine. Ooh. I I think that the, the the plot of this movie. I've never read the book. This could honestly be a shot for shot recreation. Maybe I just don't like the story. It didn't feel cohesive to me. It felt kind of all over the place and really just like they're setting up part two. And it was so boring and so long. Like it felt like it was all exposition. All exposition. No, there was like two no, no, no. seconds was like of action. Exposition and then halfway through the movie, you get the climax. And then it's also exposition after. Man, it's not even that. It's expo- <laughs> it's exposition before we hit the hour mark. Everything goes to shit and you're like, you're what's, like going? what's gonna happen? And then you hit the pause <laughs> button real quick and you go. An hour and forty minutes. An yeah. hour and forty minutes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where are we going? From it was here? like a two-parter, but like not in a way that made sense. Like I know like, it's like, probably it exactly how the book is structured, but um, I yeah. do I do agree it is all exposition. I did not hate it as much. Yeah. I thought it was consistent. Throughout. I didn't hate it. No, I'm, I'm saying like it. you just didn't like it. I I think it was consistent throughout. I just think it was consistently setting up much cooler stuff that never gets paid off in this first movie. So as yeah. a standalone film, this leaves a lot to desire. But knowing and hoping in the next two that there is a part something. two, because that's what he said. That's what the director has said uh, time and time again, a bunch of interviews after the movie came out. He's like, mm. a part two, I just get to let loose. It's all action. I All the buildup gets Clearly. resolution. And you're like, it fucking better, it man. better because that was <laughs> two like, and a half hours of you're like, just pure. I, and because they have these weird up. moments that you're like, oh, this is totally foreshadowing. But I don't know what's gonna foreshadow to because it doesn't happen in this movie. Yeah, it's like I'm I am gonna if I'm gonna go see the second one, I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch this one. I don't want to do that. Yeah, what, what I wish I th- it was more memorable. What I think is the issue here is it's not two separate films, like the yeah. way that it chapter one and it chapter two are. The first movie and the second movie could be completely different, but yeah. you can see how they're connected with the same characters, the same plot, mm-hmm. same right. antagonist, but two separate films. Yeah, Dune one only exists. In with the opportunity yeah. to set up Dune 2. Yeah. If there was no Dune you 2. You would watch this movie and if you were like, oh, there's no Dune 2 coming out, you'd be severely yeah. disappointed because yeah. nothing happens. Nothing gets resolved. It's just... it's just. I, I think my least favorite part... Or two least favorite Are we in parts. spoilers now? No. Not really. Uh, no. Do we want to give it really... a quick rating? Oh, yeah. Let's, go, uh, uh, let's, go, like let's get... go out of five sandworms. That's a good one. I'm going to give it 3.8. Star Wars. Star I was going to say 3.5. So. Star Wars. Star Wars. Dun, dun. Dun, nothing but Star Wars. Nothing but Star Wars. Look at the can. <laughs> oh, I'm going to give it three out of five sandworms. Whoa. Okay. So you two are a little bit on the lower end. I what think. Did you give it? I have 3.5. Okay. I think. But this is like overall. I think visuals and sound design. Like and a, most of the characters. 9.5. 9.5 out of 10. Like yeah. if this. It was a beautiful movie. Like if part two great. came out. Like, like within the next year, uh, this probably could like be one Netflix of Netflix is doing that every week. They release yeah. a movie in a series. Like, That's yeah. great. If they, they just did that just with that. Dwayne the Rock Johnson with and Dwayne the Rock Johnson. No. Is uh, this a bad time to to share that we still haven't finished explaining the plot? It does there's no, no plot. Dude, there's two, two there's two hours and forty five <laughs> minutes. I can tell you the, the whole plot movie right now. is plot. What do I you mean? I can tell you the plot but, right now. This is what happens. But they have to set it all up for part two. So Are you gonna explain? Yeah, no, I go and doing dramatic effect. Did you give your rating? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I said three points. Cannon, you are not so, paying attention, dude, but on, you guys are just talking you. so fast. I'm sorry. I'm just that's the no- noise of the soundworms. So how how's the Atreides? They got to take over the planet Arrakis to take care of the spice development or something. But apparently, whatever this government uh, power is, they put them there so that way they could fail. So that mm. way, this bad force of all these fat bald people can attack them and kill them and just get rid of that power force completely. But the House Sign. Atreides, the son of that has the same powers as a mom, who's a witch, or whatever the equivalent of is in this world. Mm. They have this ability to control people by speaking in this different Tom. word. Yeah, yeah, different word. It's but terrifying. he's still training it. And it's terrifying when it does work, because it's like full-on like bloodbender. They do exactly what you say. So their base gets attacked as they move into the sand people. Mom and the son go on the run. They meet some of the people of Arrakis called Fremens. Remembered another name. Good there work. you go, audience. The Fremens, who have blue eyes because they're just addicted to the sauce. They get lost they in the sauce. Yeah. They're trying to work together with them. The mom wants to get the son off planet so they can figure something out. But then after <laughs> the son fucking kills the guy, he's like, nah, I'm with them now. And you're like, 
what? Yeah. What? What? Yeah. What? 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 That okay. And then it just ended. Weird. It just ended. Yeah. That's the, my least favorite part about this movie is because it just ends with them walking. It's not like now let's go kill I Thanos. Don't You're know like, oh fuck! It's, it's just really like they're going. walking. He's like, I'm starting a war. What war? Although Clearly they do, this, they the do war do a that good he setup. saw. Yeah. He. That's but the, thing. the one that also, he was like, I don't want it to happen, and now he's like, I'm making it happen. Why? Also, the the visions don't fucking make sense. Right, I mean, know that only makes sense in the sequel, but we don't have the sequel yet, so I'm just confused. Well, no, so, why so, does he imagine himself? You're my buddy, man. And he fucking stabs him in the fight. And then in the other one, he's like, I remember your footsteps, because he's talking about uh, fucking Josh Brolin's character, but he's clearly talking about the sand as well, like the mm -hmm. worm sand. And like, it makes sense, but it doesn't yet, because we don't have part two, and we Dan, don't even know if we're going to get it or Dan, not. you seem a little frustrated. So I have a question. Let's calm down. So is sad. part two, so is part one and part two, does that make up the first Dune book? No, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I think there's only one. I think there's no, only one there's Dune a second book. one. Uh, is there? I Dune think so. books. Let's do a quick Google. I think in the second one, he had a lot oh, less to say. Wow, Jesus criminy. I think there's like half. There's a lot of spinoffs after the first one. There's Dune, and then there's Dune Messiah. Mm. And then there's Children of Dune. And then there's God Emperor of Dune. I did not know these books. There's Heretics of Dune. There's... Chapter wow. House Dune. There's Hunters of Dune. Dunes. Sandworms Dune. Sands of huh. Dune. Those last two seem way too close. I see. But uh, oh. probably not that important. Oh, I, 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 you didn't know this when we watched the movie the first time, right? Like when I said it, you're like, really? Dune came out before Star Wars. Dune like yeah, 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 yeah. set up most of Star Wars from the book. Yeah. That's like George Lucas like, Dune fucking. And now they said recently like, we used the Star Wars movies to help That's this cool. one. And you're like, Full circle. Because like it was a book, and then George Lucas made a movie, and, and then they're turning the book into a movie, so they're using his. And then movie they're gonna use the, the Dune movie to make a Star Wars book. Oh my god! Oh my god! Star Wars Dune. The cycle <laughs> continues. It's just, the, it's it just never the Dune story, but um, set in Star Wars. All right, wait. Yeah. I want to talk about two things. Two things. Okay. First thing. First thing. My favorite line in the movie: "This spice to the local people, it's a hallucinogen. It's a drug, but to us." We need it for interstellar space travel. I thought that was <laughs> stupid. Yeah. It was like, there's I mean, this well, substance. Well, it's okay, a drug, so but I've it also learned, lets me people, travel from planet to planet. From people complaining on Twitter, from what I've learned about the lore of Dune, is it kind of like humanity went to war with AI, and so that's why they don't have super advanced technology, With which was one of my complaints. I was like, it's the year fucking 10,000. Why does it feel like it's the year 2,500, 3,000? Yeah, you get, your, get your dragon get your gadgets ships. up there. But basically, because they went into that war, it like set humanity back, but also meant that they like didn't want to go down that technological route again. So then, like, hence the spice and why they need that shit to help. Also, them people. I don't know how it works. Also, <laughs> people just, huff but gasoline. That's the reason. Yeah, people. You, people huff gasoline. I huff oh, gasoline. Yeah. No, I was. <laughs> we know this, Dan. We've been known. No. He's doing it this whole episode. <laughs> Please stop. I, I just, I'm so worried about you. It's just weird that I'm like rehab, something man. can can uh, act as a drug and also just pure like a, a source I of power so powerful to to do space travel. I think if you inhaled jet fuel, you'd probably be like, "Ooh, I'm floating right now." I don't know. <laughs> no, and then you sure die immediately. Is this jet fuel? <laughs> Yeah, and, th and then your kidneys start to shut and down. You and you just die instantly. Classic. Yeah. That's why What's you use the spice and not jet fuel. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about, I kind of forgot. Cool. That's okay. The second thing I wanted to talk about, because we've been talking about this for so long. Yeah. Hey, do you think they're going to fix that one shot that they put in every trailer that's the worst thing to ever be put on a TV screen? In the second movie? Yeah. Because they're going to have to reshoot They're going to reshoot the re scene. Re it looks so bad. The scene we're talking about Chalamet is like when uh, Timothy Chalamet has that... Um, one vision of him wearing that gold armor. He's fighting whoever because we don't know what the fuck's going on yet. And then he takes off the helmet and it's like a clear shot of his eye line. But there's like five inches of space on each side of the helmet. Yeah. And it's just like. It's like they did not put his face inside that suit very well. Yeah, no, it's like not mixed together well at all. It looks bad. Yeah, and then it looks the exact same in the movie. So yeah, they didn't we thought we movie. we thought they would change it, but well, they because we it. thought it was going to be an actual scene in the movie. Because I thought right. that that was what it, I think I was pissed off about. The trailers were so misleading because all they showed were the visions. Because that's what the cool shit. Yeah, happened. yeah, they showed Zendaya. They showed the, the fucking the fighting. I, I they think showed. I think people wouldn't have been survived like as surprised if they 
advertise the movie. I mean, of course you can't advertise As it the Dune same part way. One. But like they advertise this Dune Part One, and it's like setting the things up, and it's like two action shots. Where you're like, okay, this isn't super action heavy. Yeah, but then no one would go see it. Yeah, so. that's the thing. I mean, that's the thing. Gotta make money. But somehow. it's making Thanks, good Hollywood. money. It's making good. Is money. it? Yeah. What's the? What's? What are we at now? Why what, would you ask me that? Now I have to look it was, that up. It was advertised as shit, and literally everyone that even it's, loves Timothy Chalamet will probably movie, yeah. see that. Well, I don't know, it's uh, actually, currently, so it's Dune has that. raked in two hundred and twenty million dollars globally. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. That's a lot. Yeah, I think that. Hey, it, Dune Monday, Part Two. I think that made more than Chung Chi in its opening weekend. Mm. Did it? Wow. Yeah. I think so. That's kind of impressive for a movie that has yeah, like no like no backing. But like, I will say, book, I will say, like, we no, like, did. Uh, I'll call us out on this one. This will be one of our last acting points. Uh, we totally did the thing that we said we shouldn't do this. Like if they offer a movie. Like for yeah. home when you but really need to experience. To be it. fair, movie theaters have been packed every time we've gone, and I'm I don't like sitting next it's not to random packed. people. You fu- Dude, Dude, when it's we only, went and saw Venom, like, I was sitting directly. Yeah, because we next saw it on like the opening we saw day. Opening it day. doesn't matter. No, no, that's the one time the theaters have been packed. Every yeah. time we go, there's like four people in total. That's I us. still, I still disagree. I still think the theaters. I, I wish I could have seen it in theaters, but circumstances yeah, did not I mean, allow me to. Yeah, it was just busy weekend. It yeah. was a very busy weekend. But so, hey, should we get into our weekend? But I what do, are you gonna do? Listen to the main podcast if you want to hear us get into our weekend. Unless you're already listening to the main podcast, it gets confusing how we cut these up. Yeah, but it's just confusing for me because I have to edit it all. You have to edit it all. See you all in the next review, YouTube. Doing you later. Doing you later. What is that? <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. Come on, David. I want to say it. Doing you later. Doing you later. <laughs>